What is going on, guys? Aven here. I'm bringing you the second episode of Dark Cloud 2. Um, I had a better intro going on right now in my head, and I totally forgot it. <laughs> what do you know? Anywho, it. So, there's a couple interesting things about Dark Cloud 2 that we're about to learn. Uh, the dungeon mechanics and some of the challenges and, you know, different weapons and stuff. Which is great. Um, personally, I, I really like some of the new stuff. There's some that are a little like, uh, I'm not really sure why you put that in here, and so on and so forth. But there are others that actually make sense. So, to continue on, we just gotta talk to Donnie here. So, what are you gonna do? I think I'll lay low for a while, or Underground Channel. I wanna go to the Underground Channel. Underground Water Channel? So this goes outside of the town, right? Hmm? Yeah, yes. Exactly. Blub, blub, blub. Hey, Max, what are you cooking up? Something's going on in the outside world. What? I don't know. That flotsam guy is threatening the mayor. What? Why? I'm not sure myself. But Flotsam said it. The whole town's living a carefree life, not knowing what's going on outside. What does that mean? Don't know. <laughs> Don't know. After Blackstone Rail, How does this guy see either? No one's left town. And it's not that they don't leave. They can't leave. The reason why the mayor doesn't open the gate must be so that people don't see the outside world. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, Ow, my knee just popped. That hurt. Huh? Go on? Where? You're not thinking of... Uh-huh. I'm leaving this town. See you later, town. Hold on there. Seriously? Screw you what guys. You I'm going home. I can't do a very good Cartman voice. I'll practice. I'll be fine. I usually use this to fix things, but it makes a pretty good weapon, too. You know, just a three-foot wrench. <laughs> no use trying to stop you now. Hold on a sec. I love how he can run underneath that, but I just run into an invisible wall. Wow, he gives me a gun. This is Kids, never play with a gun. Thing, but you'll need more. It gets a little rowdy around here, so this guy will come in handy. Wow, really? It's okay? Take it already. Thank you, Donnie. Yeah, don't play with guns, kids. Adults, don't play with guns. Guns are dangerous. Don't get me wrong, I love guns. I love firing guns. Oh, I love going to the shooting range and smell of gunpowder that bang when you pull the trigger. But don't play with them. They're dangerous. That is my public service announcement for the day. I will not be doing any more public service announcements because they're really annoying. <laughs> and they make me sound very political. I can't stand politics. No problem. Whatever you say. Hey, why do I to stay and watch. Max? Blub, blub, blub. I want to see the outside world with my own eyes. Alright, time to the first dungeon. Chapter 1. To the outside world. And on to chapter 1. You know, if it didn't take so long, I probably would have... Probably would have gotten up to this point. Alright, so, first thing you're going to notice is it lays all of it out for you. So you can see the entire map of the entire dungeon. Um, so when you click on this first one, you get three little blank circles and some text. Defeat, time limit to defeat all monsters, question mark, I still haven't unlocked those, so I don't know what they are. And then the final one, clear all without healing. So. Yeah. Ugh. There goes my knee popping again. Voila. First dungeon. First floor. Ring, ring. 
Ring ring. It's like a maze. You could get lost pretty easy here. To dance the next floor, you must clear the current floor by getting the gate key from the monster and using it at the exit. If you fill certain conditions when you clear four, you receive medals. That's what I was talking about before. By switching the move and the blah, the medal holder is an item showing the moves that there may be a surprise and collect enough medals. I still have no idea anything about that. I, on my other one, I probably have like ten medals. <laughs> what do you know? The map. <laughs> Super useful. Super useful. Run over here real quick. First enemy, Froggy. For these enemies, I recommend, if you can, drawing one. It's like I hit the bastard. Ow. Drawing him close and then doing a jumping attack, if there's multiple of them grouped together. Um. There you go. Sometimes it won't do what I want it to do when I want it to do it, and other times it'll do... It won't do what I want to do when I want to do it. So that's the new features. You can pick up and throw stuff. Um, you hold R1, which is block, and then you press X, and it'll pick it up. But you gotta be, like, sitting, like, right next to it. Oh, one second. My thing's, um, bugging out here. Un memento, poor favor. As I go through and fix this... Connect. Blub blub. Come on. Bingo. Okay, good. Sorry. Swim. Enemies are much easier to deal with. Anyways, do you see that little orange circly stuff above um, the enemy's health? Come here. Um, that's the Rage Meter. If I can show it here, I will, I'll be able to show it in a little while. Um, if that goes down, they enter, like, Super Saiyan mode, is what I like to call it. Um, it's basically just a powered up mode. They do more damage, they take less damage, so on and so forth. Um, I'm sure you've noticed by now, I picked up some Sea Dragon Crystals earlier. These are Hunter Crystals. I'll explain what those do in a little- ow. Try to block. Uh, I'll explain what those do in a little bit. So as I was saying with Monica, she does a downward stab. I need to turn this down a little bit. We don't need it this loud. Um, for traditional recording. Um, so yeah, so you know in the old game, um, you get abs, and you uh, put in items, and they send the sides in. Well, in this one, you get a little different. Um, since I just leveled up, I'll go ahead and show you. So this just became Battle Wrench plus one. So if you look at the status, it says Battle Wrench 1, Attack 10, Flame 2, Lightning 0, Smash 5, Beast 0, Scale 0, Action 0, Cyclone 0, Chill 0, Durable 11. And you also see down at the bottom four synthesis points. So if you go through and actually click on the item, press Build Up, you'll see there's two things here. The first one needs more Attack, more Smash, and more Beast. The second one just needs more Attack. If I remember correctly, this first one is the Drill Wrench, and this one is the True Battle Wrench. Um, if I remember correctly, it goes Battle Wrench, True Battle Wrench, Drill Wrench, then Smash Wrench, and that's as far as I've gotten on this one so far. Or you can go directly to the Drill Wrench to Smash Wrench, which I did originally. Um, so with the, any item, any item that's usable, so like the bread, you can Spectrumize and see how it gives plus two to Flame, but it requires one synthesis point. 
and then the more you use, the more synthesis points it requires. It's the same with anything else. Durable. Oops, did not want to do that. Spectrumize. So this one does durable. This does chill. This one does beast. And crystals will always do three, if I remember correctly. Um, items like keys, notebooks, the help receiver, and the metal holder, uh, they don't do anything. This does scale. So yeah. Um, if we go back and look at the gun, I want to give Smash and Beast, because I want to go to the drill wrench, the well, I should probably show you the true battle wrench. It's pretty useful, so it's Attack, Smash, and Beast. Um, so, what I like to do is I like to do four items, so I can go ahead and get the most out of it. For the wrench items, the Smash is probably the best. It's useful against, like, solid opponents that Monica's sword doesn't hit well. If you run into an enemy that it does a lot, that Monica's sword does almost nothing to, use the switch over to max, use the wrench, and it'll usually do a lot more damage. Um, it just means they're impervious to slash damage. Um, that's just like a minor feature. Uh, for those of you who play like Dark Souls or something, um, you know what I mean by like slash, smash, and stuff like that. Um, they're just attributes that an item has just, like, just naturally. It's a natural uh, attribute and stuff. Um, so yeah, the little blue circles are the abs. The yellow ones are money. Um, I don't remember what it's called in this game. Yeah, and then the little purple bag you see is an item drop. Um, oh look, another classic gun. What do you know? So, um, yeah, I'll go through and explain a little bit more about different weapons when you use it. Uh, personally, I like to keep, like, three weapons on hand. Um, two or three, depending on the upgrade path. It has, um, so, you know, magic crystals are the same in the old game. Magic crystals will show where your monster treasure on the map. Again, super useful. Um, if you press select, it'll change the map position, so you can have it smaller, bigger, or not at all. I like having it this one when I'm checking where the stuff is, but otherwise, I'll, if I'm just running through the level, I'll do it this way. Oh, you bastard. Um. Yeah. So we'll just continue on. Uh, there's a chest over here, so we're gonna go get that. Oh, big gun. I just got a wind crystal. Neat. And here we have some destruction crystals. Destruction crystals give smash, which is again super useful. Um, if you're wondering about upgrading attack, um, there's a couple ways to upgrade attack. Um, you can level up the weapon, that'll increase the attack by one or two points, I can't remember exactly. Um, yeah, it'll do like one or two points of increase. Or you can make an item called the Night Boots, which I'll show you in a little while, which is actually my personal favorite. Um, my personal favorite of increasing attack, and you got the attack, or the power crystal, which I might have just said and I totally forgot. If I did, power crystals are orange and have a little sword on them. That increases your attack plus two. The Night Boots increase your attack plus two as well. Um, what else was there? Um, I think, I think that's all. I'm not sure. I love how there's just bread in random boxes in the sewer, because that makes perfect sense. Um, looks like I need to go this way. See, a little forward jump slash is super useful to getting close. Especially they do backstepping like that. Sorry, my eyebrow itches. Which is an awkward thing to say now that I think about it. Die, squeakers. And the last. Oh, look, we got the floor key. <laughs> Go figure. Go 
Cool. So that defeats all enemies. Alright. That takes care of you guys. So cool. What do you know? So yellow points on the map are gates. Use the gate key there to go. Yeah. So I recommend smashing any boxes you see. Um, you don't always get an item out of it, but when you do, it's usually helpful items like bread, repair pattern. Where am I going? Here we go. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, you can't go back. I thought for some reason, because I never look back, I always forget if there was a thing there or not. So. Proceed to the next floor. So, you know, I still got some items, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. Clear the finish without healing, got a medal. Uh, I'll come back later and do the uh, speed one when I have something that moves a bit faster. Deeper into the underground channel. I had said I want to see the outside world to Donnie, but there was a second reason why I wanted to go there. Just watch for a little bit. Your flanders here. Your flanders here. Bon appetit. <sighs> Max, where are your manners? Eat your dinner. Um, father, I'd like to. Yes. What is uh, about mother? Where is she? I'm sure I told you this already. Your mother is doing important work far away from here. But what's the name of the town and what you... It's nothing for you to worry about. Eat your dinner. Love how big the subway is. This is just how you always are. You don't tell me anything. <laughs> Young sir. Leave him be. Would you like me to go after him, sir? Leave him be. See what I mean? His dad's an ass. In case you haven't noticed, he's actually a no Max is actually a noble. Um, the town of Palm Brinks has their nobles and such. Um, one thing I should mention, um, for those of you who are playing this who just recently got it, so on and so forth, um, always save. Because if you die, you get a game over. And you reverts back to your last save. And I don't know how many times I've been screwed. I could say... Save on this level and then die over here and not save, and all the all the progress I had here is just gone. So yeah, um, so in this one, uh, defeat all monsters in two minutes forty seconds. Question mark? Question mark? Attack and defeat all enemies using only items. I don't have any items I can do that, so I can't clear that. Um, a lot of these I'll end up coming back to and picking up. Um, yeah, stuff like that. Oh, big yaddy on. <sighs> so, yeah, um, stuff and such. Bats are my worst enemy. For those of you who know, they're just absolutely horrible. I recommend using the gun on them because they, they're just a pain to hit and they poison you, which is even worse. Uh... Awesome. So, so I can build up to the true battle wrench. Haha. -ha. But I will go through and, uh, what was I going to do? Right, so, we're going to go to the True Battle Wrench, just because. So this is what the True Battle Wrench looks like, you know. True Battle Wrench, the Battle Wrench made easier for use in battle. It's got little knobs on it. Not great. So, as you can see, the attack went up, and all that's left is smash. And like I said, destruction gives smash. So we're going to put three synthesis points worth of it in um, 
just because I don't think I need that much. Um, I don't recommend putting a whole bunch of stuff into it because as you move on, um, it gets harder and harder. Ooh, that was a weird whistle. It gets harder and harder to get enough points and level up though because enemies don't drop enough. Um, oh my god. Holy cow. Um, stuff. So, I mean, it, it's weird. I'll explain it later on. So, like I said, it upgrades into the drill, the drill wrench. Um, so I'll show you that now too. Which is weird because I've never actually been able to do this since I went directly with the drill wrench last time. So drill wrench, wrench with the drill attached to it. Amazing. So I'll create this one. We need more attack, flame, lightning, smash, and scale. So I'm gonna spectrumize this. Make sure that's enough. Yeah, so that's enough smash. Um, we got two points. Oh shoot, we got two points left, so we'll use the last two on the sea dragon crystals. So let's check that. That's enough scale. Perfect. So we just need to attack flame and lightning. So we'll get that going in a little bit. Um, so we got another classic gun. It's the same as the other one. And you can spectrumize this one as well. Let's see what it says. Spectrumize may lead to an unstable synthosphere. Spectrumize anyways. What that means is you need to have a weapon at least plus five before you go and spectrumize it. Because otherwise it won't um, do it right, I guess. Um, it only give like part of the original attributes back instead of all of them. But if it's plus five, it'll give all the attributes. Which is, again... Super useful, super useful. Let's just pop this chest real quick. So this is the new Happy Clown. I hate him. Because... Blah, 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 blah. So I got a scrap metal instead of another gun, which I guess in a way is kind of useful. But, um, not great. If you ask me. So we're going to level out the gun for a little bit, because um, I want to get this one up to plus five. Ow, he just poisoned me. I forgot the frogs can poison you. So like any status effect, um, you need to use the correct item. Poison, you need an antidote drink. Curse, you need holy water. Um, if you're gummed up, like if you have a little wob. Pinkish look to you. Um, if you have a little pinkish look to you and you're moving like super slow, uh, you need soap. Um, which again, I'll, I'll explain status effects later. Treasure seems to be locked. Just don't have a key, so. Oh, yay. Uh, hey, what do you know? I got another wrench. <laughs> Holy shit. <is>. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, so yeah, we're just using the healing item and then our last antidote drink. Uh, one thing I've noticed about this game is when you open chests and you get items, you usually get multiple of those items. So instead of getting like one antidote drink, like in first dark cloud, you get like between one and five, I think. Don't quote me on that because... Yeah. So instead of just using a repair powder, I'm sure you saw, um, there's gun repair powder... There's normal repair powder, and then there's also, um, like, bracelet or breast seared repair powder, and that's for Monica's magic. Um, so. Ow, you bastard! I cannot believe you just poisoned me again! Great. <laughs> Th this is going wonderfully. <laughs> this one's needs cyclone and attack. So we got some wind crystals here. So we'll just dump a whole bunch of them on there since we have zero cyclone. Damn it, my controller code is all wrapped up around my leg. Uh, so that just needs attack. Perfect. Oops, wrong item. I didn't want to do that. Um, so yeah, gun repair powder. Powder that restores the WHP of projectile weapons. And this does weapons, so... 
Anyways. So it looks like we're gonna have to wear off this poison, otherwise. Luckily it only does like one damage every what was that? One, two, three, four. Every like five seconds or so. Anyways. Figure out where I'm going. I need the map. Pick it all up. Stop dodging me. Just thought of something. We're gonna do this. Get this up to plus five. Break it down. And yeah, we'll just do it that way. I don't actually have the key. Sorry if I go quiet, I sometimes just get lost in a random thought that makes no sense whatsoever to anything or has no purpose. Uh, I'm really sorry about that. I don't always mean for that. Oh, hey, I got an Ando drink. Right as he throws a knife at me. Crap. I almost had the block. Oh, there goes that items. Or those experience points and stuff. Unknown bone. So like I said, each item has their own, um, thing, I guess. Um, I don't know what the word is. Um, yeah, so I mean, unknown bones give exorcism, which, exorcism is good against ghosts. Um, I think there are these shade enemies, I'm not sure about that. Um, let's see, where am I going? Let me see if I can go this way. Anyways, um, that's good against skeletons, I think. I haven't tested it. The smash, I think, is good against skeletons. I'm not entirely sure, though. Um, there we go. Channel key. Pop this back up. I just realized something. I'm trying to upgrade this gun, and I'm... Hold on. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing something. Um, I'll figure it out eventually. Ow. Alright, that takes care of you guys. Alright, that takes care of you guys. This video is gonna be long. You know what? I'm gonna think I'm gonna keep them around 30 minutes this time, just so I can get some enough in and make it worthwhile. More unknown bone. Anyways, more destruction crystals. Alright, so now I head back. Oh, by the way, these are pools of water. Uh, they're healing springs. Um, if you remember in the first game, um, the little question mark here meant back four. But in this one, it's a healing spring. So, um, yeah. It heals you your health. I don't know. Oh, where am I going? Sorry, um, it heals your health. I don't know if it heals status effects, um, but it definitely heals your health. If you're trying to do a um, no healing run, I found level says finish without healing. Um, 
that'd be one thing. But there are certain levels that say finish without using healing items. So I, I'm not I'm not entirely sure on that one. So yeah, we're just gonna pursue the next floor. I'll just meet you up at the map. And uh, yeah, if you like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, see you guys next time.